Hello and welcome to Isinglass. Today we're looking at a new product in my range. We're taking a step away from carriages and their interiors to the line side. Had a request in from a member of the Great Northern Railway Society who simply said, can you do something for me? And, uh, you know, the request was Great Northern crenellated fencing, which, you know, is a feature of, of the railway, the line side. And he just said, is this something you're able to do? So let's give it a go. So we've taken a good look at this. Um, so here are the parts. We can see the fencing panel is, I actually made it 168, 168 millimeters long. Okay, it's detailed on both sides. So if we look carefully, you can actually see there's planking detail and there is actually a, a slight wood grain effect. That helps with the painting. Um, if it were just a, a flat sheen of plastic, you'd find the paint wouldn't actually adhere that well. But being patterned on both sides, you'll find it takes the paint very well indeed. So joining the sections together, we've actually used the beams from the, uh, from the fencing and they will simply fit together. Thus, you might need to do a little bit of cleaning up to get an absolutely perfect join. But the idea is join these together to create as, as much length as you need and uh, work from there. Now, you'll also find the bottom of the posts all have a little preformed hole. And if I show you a part that's already been made up, here we go. So there's a painted version. And all I've done is taken a little bit of uh, piano wire glued that into the uh, the hole in the base of the fence and then that'll be a way of fixing that to your baseboard. The parts are fairly flexible. I mean bear in mind this is 3D printed resin. If you bend it too sharply it will snap and I'll show you that in a second. But if you just need to work your way around a gentle curve it should be possible to, to bend the fencing accordingly. Now, if you drop this into hand hot water, so about 55 to 60 degrees centigrade, you will actually find the plastic becomes a little bit more pliable. You should be able to form it into a shape, drop it into cold water to cool it, and hopefully it will retain a little bit of that shape, make it a little bit um, easier to fix to the layout in, in the curve shape. So what happens if you need slightly less than the lengths are provided? Let's move on. Okay, so here we go. What we're going to do is we're going to keep that in because that's the one that joins onto the rest of the fence. And we're going to shorten this one down by a, a small amount. So what we're going to do there is we're going to take a ruler. We're going to score across there. We're not doing this too heavily. We're not trying to cut through the material. All we're trying to do is score it enough that it will hopefully have a clean break. I mean, if you were exceptionally patient, you could work all the way through. So, so there we go. So that's the line we want there. square as we can. We are going to need to snip through the beams on the back of the fence like this just to weaken it slightly. Place the ruler on the front and then we should be able to snap like that. Now you see it doesn't always break clean so that will just need a little bit of cleaning up with a file or if you're feeling brave again it might be best to Hold that with a ruler. You could possibly snip off a little bit, but as you can see, sometimes that doesn't come completely clean. So clean that down, as always, being careful of not breathing the resin dust. Either have an extractor fan or wear a mask whilst you're working. And then again, here we go, there's a fence post. I'll provide extra ones of these in the pack. That could just go on the end there and provide a neat little end to the fence panel like that 
I mean likewise you could easily break it off at an existing fence panel and just finish the fence there. So there we have it. GNR crenellated fencing from Isinglass. Now available on my website and from the eBay shop. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like the videos and I'll see you again soon.